In this video, I'm going to be solving theory question 5a and b of Yike of 2022. The A part says that given that m equals tan 30 degrees and n equals tan 45 degrees, simplify without using a calculator m minus n over mn, leaving the answer in the form p plus root q. This is what we are evaluating m minus n over mn. And since m is tan 30 degrees, this is going to be tan 30 degrees minus n is tan 45. So this is tangent of 45 degrees divided by m, that's tan 30, times n, that's 45. mn is m times n. In a previous video on trigonometry, I obtained the sine, cosine, and tangents of special angles, which include 30 degrees and 45 degrees. To see the video, just click on the link at the top right corner of your screen. In that video, we found that tan 30 degrees is 1 over the square root of 3, and tan 45 is 1 divided by tan 30, that's 1 over 3, times tan 45, that's 1. Here, so I'm going to have to take out 1 from 1 over 3. That can be done quite easily because 1 can be written as with 3 over 3. My intention is to make the denominators the same. So since the denominators are the same, I'm just going to have the denominator and just 1. And at the denominator, I've got 1 over 3 times 1. That's just 1 over 3. So I can change this. 1 over root 3. This is going to simplify to 1 minus root 3 over root 3. This division is going to change to a multiplication and I'm going to flip the numerator and denominator here. So this is root 3 over 1. Therefore root 3 can cancel root 3 and my answer is going to be 1 minus root 3. We can see here that our answer is in the form p plus root q. This is the final answer. The b part, we are told that there are 20 women in a bus. 15 of them wear glasses and 10 wear wristwatches. If a woman is chosen at random from the bus, find the probability that she wears both glasses and a wristwatch. So we've got 20 people. On the bus so uppercase n is 20 15 of them wear glasses so if we represent glasses by g we would have number of people that wear glasses equals 15 10 of them wear wristwatches that can be represented by w so we've got n w equals 10. we are told that a woman is chosen at random from the bus and we should find the probability that she wears both glasses and a wristwatch. So what we are asked to obtain here is the probability that a woman that's picked wears both glasses and wristwatch. So, and we know that in probability, and is a multiplication. So probability of glass and the wristwatch is just going to be probability of glass times probability of wristwatch and we know that probability is the ratio of the number of required outcomes over number of possible outcomes the 20 here is the number of possible outcomes because we've got 20 people in the bus now to obtain the probability of g that's going to be the number of people with glasses divided by the number of people in the bus so this is going to be 15 over 20 times the probability of wristwatch is just going to be the number of people with wristwatches divided by the total number of people in the bus. That's going to be 10 over 20. And we can see here that 10 can just reduce 20 twice. 5 can reduce 15 three times. Can reduce 24 times. This gives 3 over 4 times 2. Therefore, the probability that the woman that's chosen at random wears both glasses and wristwatch is 3 over 8. 
Thank you for watching this video. If you find it useful, kindly like it by giving it a thumbs up. Share to your friends and colleagues on social media. Don't forget to drop a comment and click on the subscribed icon. To get notified when I upload new videos, kindly click on the all. That's the dark bell button on the subscribed icon. Thank you for seeing it once again. See you in the next video.